The global auto industry continues to navigate the evolving COVID-19 pandemic while also having to manage a near daily exercise of maintaining steady supplies of critical components in order to keep assembly plants running and rebuild inventories. The conditions around semiconductor supply remain very challenging and, and vehicle production is further complicated by weather-related shortages in petrochemicals, port congestion and disruptions, and tight supplies of other critical materials such as steel and rubber. Given these challenges, the ability to make up lost volume from plant shutdowns has effectively shifted to late 2021 and realistically is extended to early 2022, depending on the market. Good news in all of this is that for markets such as the US and China, the challenges remain more supply focused rather than demand centered as vehicle sales continue to progress, progress along a recovery path. In looking at major market activity around the world, we see in mainland China, they're benefiting from effective COVID containment, enabling an impressive rebound in demand. Additionally, strength of light commercial vehicle activity has helped to offset some of the impact of semiconductor shortages in the early months of 2021. An upgraded outlook for GDP in the market further helps to support sales and production growth in the near to intermediate term. Now, when we look at the US and North America, resilient retail sales has been a key factor in the recovery from the severe impact of COVID on the auto industry starting the second quarter of 2020. Challenge currently facing the market is the ability to produce enough vehicles to support the pace of sales. We're estimating that there's a need for up to 500,000 additional vehicle units for inventory build alone. Recently passed government COVID stimulus relief provides additional funds that could further support new and used vehicle sales in the near term. Now, turning our eye to West Europe, recur recurring COVID-related lockdowns have negatively impacted demand and some of the recovery process in the near term. The outlook will largely be determined by the evolution of the pandemic and the deployment of effect effective vaccines. Further, stricter CO2 emission re regulations are expected to increase vehicle pricing. However, there's a potential for growth in the second half of 2021 as vaccinations allow fewer restrictions on activity. Also, extended stimulus programs, particularly for battery electric vehicles, provide some near-term support as well. Important to note the varying stages of COVID recovery are occurring as the auto industry is entering a period of unprecedented transformational change with automakers around the world in the process of deploying a diverse lineup of battery electric vehicles and governments aligning the regulations toward a goal of zero vehicle emissions. It's becoming increasingly apparent that the electrified product will be there but it will remain equally important to bring the consumer along their journey toward EV adoption. This will include removing key consumer objections from the discussion, such as range anxiety and where to charge the vehicle, and pricing differential relative to standard internal combustion vehicles, among other factors. With vehicle charging infrastructure poised to grow and advancements in technology, both increasing battery capabilities and reducing the cost, it's clear the industry is focused on supporting consumer adoption and that whole process towards the adoption curve, yet it will require continued focus by automakers, dealers, and indeed all industry stakeholders. The acceleration in electrification is bringing about both consolidation as well as collaboration amongst both automakers and suppliers. This activity is expected to intensify given the cost to deploy new technologies and with new players continuing to enter the field. In fact, we expect a healthy amount of activity with regard to mergers and acquisitions, as well as joint ventures and strategic alliances. One of the outcomes of the pandemic and the ongoing industry dynamics is that we've been able to develop some unique and new tools for clients around the industry to use, including the Global Auto Demand Tracker, which provides a real-time look at light vehicle demand across geographies and tracks key metrics like brand level activity and EV penetration rates globally, and in most countries around the world. We're working on plans to give SAA members an opportunity to ac access the tracker in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. For more information on IHS Market and our products and services, please look us up at ihsmarket.com.